Hey everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make this, which is either a very large glass arrowhead or a glass spearhead, out of this, an empty bourbon bottle. So first things first, go empty a bourbon bottle. It doesn't have to be a bourbon bottle, but you just want to make sure it's got a nice flat bottom, as flat as possible, and as thick as possible. And then we're going to break this out using something heavy like a drill bit or a large nail. Just kind of drop it in there gently, and then shake it. Look at that. That's a nice piece of glass to make a spearhead out of. And now our goal is to try to get rid of as much of this outside edge as possible. And I'm going to use a copper bopper, but you could use a stone or an antler, as I've shown in other videos. All right, you can see that all I'm doing is I'm just knocking it and getting rid of all this debris and the curve, most of the curve, by going around the outside. All right, so now what I'm going to start doing is driving flakes across the face. And you'll notice, if you look really carefully, that I've got a little bit of a bevel, a little bit of an edge going out here. So when I hit it right here, it's going to drive a flake off the bottom into the hollow part of this. Okay, so there's that chip. There's that flake that I just took off. And you see that it ran into, but not all the way across the face. I'm going to continue doing this all across that one side. Okay, now you can see how I've made a series of flakes all the way around the inside face. And that's thinning it, and it's also going to take off that concavity. Now what I'm going to do is break all of this down using an old grindstone. Break it down so that I bring my center line closer to the convex face. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. One of the reasons you grind is so that your tool can get a little hold on this when you hit it. The other benefit of grinding is that you can see the center line. So now you see that my center line isn't on the center. It's up towards this face, and that's what I want to start removing the flakes from. So I'm going to flip it over, and now I'm going to drive this way to drive flakes across this face. And so now you can see that I've got a ring of flakes around this side and a ring of flakes around this side. And so now I'm just going to keep doing the same thing back and forth on the two sides, making this piece narrower as I remove flakes and also shooting the flakes all the way across the face. And here's where I'm going to start doing something a little trickier, and that is holding it in my hand. You'll notice I got the glove. That's definitely important. I've done it without a glove, and I've cut myself way too many times. Now what I like to do is hold this right into the finger. This thumb, this is barely putting any pressure. Your pressure is going to go into the glass. And then I rest this against my leg, and I actually hold my leg nice and solid so that when I strike, the flakes are going to travel further into the piece. Okay, so that flake went almost all the way across. Now you can see that the flakes are almost all the way across the face. This is the original bottle, and all of this is getting closer to the center. So now I'm going to grind it and do the other side and keep going back and forth. At this point, I've pretty much cleared both sides, and I've thinned it as thin as I really risk doing so. And now I'm just going to crush the edges to make this more into a spearhead shape or in a large arrowhead. And now I'm going to switch over to the Ishi stick. And as I showed in other videos, I have this pressure flaking pad. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that narrow edge, just like in other videos, using the Pressure Flaker Ishi Stick. And I've switched back to bare hands because I feel like I can control this. Because 
except for that piece of glass in my hand right there. For those that haven't seen my videos, let me come in closer and show you what I'm doing. First of all, you want your center line close to the face that you're flint napping. And then you're gonna put your flint napper, in this case, my pressure flaker, on that edge and then drive it down into the pad and towards your hand. And again, what you're left with is a nice even row of pressure flaking scars and a really sharp serrated edge. Let me go back around this a few more times and I'll show you the finished product. All right, I've got it down to a basic arrowhead, spearhead type of shape. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the notching. So you just pick two places for your notches and I'm gonna pick mine maybe about right here. Now what you wanna do is put more downward pressure and just poke a little bit Okay, poke a little bit, and now when you flip that over, you can see that little C shape. That C shape impression you made, that little divot. So now what you wanna do is bring this back into your pad with this C shape facing up. Get your pressure flaker right down, right down into that C shape, and now push it in. and you can see that the notch is starting. And you just keep going back and forth, being careful not to touch the edges, what's called the ears. Careful not to touch the edges and just drive it in as far as you think you need. Now I know it's not as big as you might've imagined coming from the bottom of a bourbon bottle, but if you can imagine hafting this onto a stick that's bigger than an arrowhead, and it'd make a good spearhead. What's that? Not big enough? Well, switch to any type of glass. The bigger, the better. If you can find it, it's gotta be thick. If you can find it, go for bigger pieces of glass. Hold on just a sec. Using the same technique that I just showed you on that whiskey bottle, and the techniques I've shown you in the other videos, you can now try your luck at making something this big, but be warned, it's really gonna be prone to breaking, just snapping right in half. You really have to practice, 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 make sure that your center line is low, go through all those tips I showed you in the other videos, grind it a lot. Let me show you how you'd start making this into a gigantic spearhead. You find a platform, like this one right here, or this one right here, or this one right here, and you drive it down into the bottom of the piece. See the size of that flake? The bigger the glass, the bigger the flakes. You see the flake scar pattern? You would just keep going around and around, just like I've shown you on the other pieces.